rises from the ashes of despair. I stand again against the enemy of weakness that I find within myself. Courage and determination shine where once fear and insecurity held dominion. Great news guys, the taco challenge is back on! So I talked about in my last video the 100 Taco Challenge, which is a challenge that fellow motovlogger Jay Remy, aka Lazy Cricket, brought to my attention. It, was, it originally started off as a challenge to eat 100 tacos in a month, which didn't sound that hard, and uh, appropriately enough, Jay Remy, Lazy Cricket, had a modification to this challenge, which was to eat 100 tacos before eating anything else which is a little more challenging just because tacos aren't always the easiest to come by and it is kind of easy to get sick of eating something if you're eating the exact same food item over and over again. Uh, but I love tacos so I decided to go ahead and give this challenge a try and in my previous video I talked about how I <laughs> failed pretty quickly at that. So uh, anyways, uh, I talked it over with my girlfriend and she's actually, she thinks this challenge is a little bit stupid and a little bit funny, but she does support me in attempting it, so I am going to go ahead and start the 100 Taco Challenge after all in its modified format, which is to eat 100 tacos before I eat anything else. And she's actually going to join me by doing a little bit of a food challenge of her own. Hers is a little bit different. Instead of eating 100 tacos before she eats anything else, what she's going to do is eat nothing but healthy food until I finish my taco challenge which I definitely respect and I think I'm gonna actually probably have to go and do a similar challenge after this taco challenge is done. I'm gonna need to go ahead and have a little uh, taco detox. A, a detaco, a de detoxo, detoxification. So today is Sunday. I've got my girlfriend on the back of the bike and we're headed off to start this challenge together. We're gonna stop by a local market near my girlfriend's place called Mother's. They super healthy, organic oriented, like they got lots of vegan stuff and they also have a lot of homeopathic remedies and other garbage because they're like super hardcore into this uh, health food demographic. But they do have some pretty good legitimate like vegetarian, vegan, organic, and other legitimate healthy food there. So we're gonna stop by there and pick my girlfriend up some healthy salads and stuff. And then on the way home, we're gonna stop at Del Taco and pick up a stack of tacos that I hope will last me uh, for lunch and dinner today and possibly even breakfast tomorrow because, uh, yeah, it's just, it's hard to get tacos sometimes. I mean, when you're eating out all the time, like, I mean, it's nice to go and eat out and have that convenience of someone else making the food for you, but to go out and have to get food every meal sometimes is actually more of a hassle than just eating at home. So I'm going to try and pick up a bunch of tacos so that I just have them lying around at home. I'll keep them in the freezer maybe even and microwave them up. We'll see. Uh, normally I'd prefer, I, I don't think of myself as like a taco snob per se, but I definitely prefer authentic tacos. Uh, so the Del Taco Taco is not going to be the most enjoyable taco for me, but it, it, they're not horrible and they're available, so it's just uh, what we're going to... It's just where we're going to start. I'm telling everyone about tacos. I heard. I heard something about tacos. Yeah, I'm talking about tacos. I thought there was a cool park around here somewhere, but I guess I don't know exactly where it is. I thought we might stop there on the way and just kind of enjoy ourselves a little bit and explore a new area because we've never actually been to this park. Oh, here it is. I don't think we're going to hang out here too long. I just kind of want to ride through the parking lot and see what this park is all about because we've never really taken the time to drop by here and investigate. Tri-City Park. I wonder which three cities this park represents. Oh, this is nice. Got a little lake, a little bit of picnic action going on. Oh, it's not a little lake at all. It's kind of big. Stretches all the way across a broad expanse. Got some bridges crossing it, some footpaths. This is actually a heck of a nice park. I'm glad we decided to, well, we didn't decide. I decided unilaterally to turn in here without my girlfriend's input, but we have talked about coming in here before and it looks like a pretty chill park. Wouldn't mind spending some time here, maybe getting in a little bit of barbecue, enjoying an illegal beer or two. Oh snap, they're playing Ultimate Frisbee. 
I love Ultimate Frisbee. Let's just uh, have a pause here and have a look at it. The thing about Ultimate Frisbee, it's a lot more uh, strenuous than you might think. You can see they're doing a lot of running. It's actually pretty similar in, in terms of gameplay to... Uh, it's like a mixture of soccer and, and football with a little, you know, a couple elements of basketball in there. Basically, the idea is you have to move the disc to your end zone by passing it from one person to another. And the other team, obviously, is going to try to intercept your passes. So the, the trick is whoever's holding the Frisbee can't move. They get a pivot foot like in basketball, but they can't move with the Frisbee. So their teammates have to sort of run into open space and try to, you know, open up room for whoever has the disc to throw it to them. And obviously if there's an incomplete pass or it gets intercepted, then that's a turn turnover. And then the other team gets the disc and they try to move it to their end zone. So there's like a, a little bit of a football aspect. The, the way the gameplay sort of flows feels a little bit like soccer with open space and stuff. So I don't, it's a really cool game. It's pretty physical. It's very active. Uh, it's not just uh, tossing a frisbee around. That's another thing I've been looking forward to once uh... Oh geez, once school's over and I have weekends again, you know, in addition to riding, I want to get back into working out a little bit more regularly. I want to do some uh, exercise, in particular Ultimate Frisbee, which is my number one most favoritist sport to participate in. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to so many things after graduation. I don't know how realistic it is to expect that I'm going to actually be able to take part in all of those activities. but. At least a couple of them will come back, or maybe I'll get into all of them to varying degrees. We'll see. Anyway, onward to salads! No, people will enjoy that. Yes. Hold on tight. I'll give it some juice. Hop off, girl merc, or whatever your internet nickname shall be. <laughs> Too shy. Oh, is this on? While we were in the healthy food market, my girlfriend told me that I look pretty hot when all my fat's packed into my leathers where she can't see it. What? Del Taco, here we come! Alright, here we are. The Del Taco. My absolute favorite taco place. I'm just kidding. I don't hate Taco Bell. I mean Del Taco. But I actually kind of like it. it. May not be my favorite, but even if even if I did kind of dislike it, you still got to do what you got to do. So we're buying tacos here, one way or another. got our tacos, our Del Taco tacos. I grabbed, well I ordered 10 regular tacos and 10 soft tacos and they accidentally made me 11 of each so I've got 22 to start me on my road to 100. Sketchy! All right guys, this time I'm not gonna miss the opportunity to do a proper filming. That's not even all of them. Here is the rest. That is what 22 tacos looks like. Let's see how long it takes me to eat that. 